selling sugar daddies in prison, selling pen pals, because they don't like to be called sugar daddies. They're pen pals, but they're sugar daddies for the record. Let's be real. Um, yeah, it's a whole business. It's a whole ass business. So in a female prison, so say it's like myself and Sarah, okay? So say I have a sugar daddy, a pen pal. Girls will get put on these sites by their friends, by their family members, by somebody on the outs. You got to think about it. Some people are like socially awkward. So yeah. they think that like to reach out to these people, you in prison. So it's like... You can't play me. You on the inside. It's it's, it's kind of like almost a guarantee. If you're in prison, you're a woman in prison, and Dante sends you something, what you going to say? Ew, F out of here? Girl, you in prison. All right, bye. Oh, let's go. Let me see. Let me show you that. Video number three. Video number three. <laughs> How women make money by hustling pen pals in prison. See? What? I'll repeat that. How women make money by hustling pen pals out of control prison. Yeah. It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. Selling sugar daddies in prison, selling pen pals because they don't like to be called sugar daddies. They're pen pals, but they're sugar daddies for the record. Let's be real. Um, yeah, it's a whole business. It's a whole ass business. So in a female prison, so say it's like myself and sarah okay so say i have a sugar daddy a pen pal girls will get put on these sites by their friends by their family members by somebody on the outs and when they get put on this site you know they'll write they'll buy letters they'll pay people for letters they'll just they'll fish they'll throw letters hundreds of letters out there until they get somebody to bite when they get somebody to bite they try to, there's like a whole process. There's a grooming process. They never want money. They never want you for anything. But eventually, they're going to fall in love with you. You're going to fall in love with them. You're the greatest thing that happened. They're going to, you know, make sure you're connected with their family. They're going to have their mom and their kid calling you so you feel like you're really in there. They're going to make it seem like every day on the phone talking to you is like the only thing that is the most important part of the day and the only reason that they live. They're going to make sure you know that they don't have any financial support. And then all of a sudden, one day they're going to have an emergency and it's going to be a little one like, hey, oh my God, someone stole my shoes. Can you send me a hundred dollars? I have to buy some shoes, you know, off the compound. Um, and then you're probably going to do it because you love her and you want to save the day. Um, she doesn't have any other support and she's stroked your ego, love bombed you and sucked you in major. So when that happens, then it's just going to be another emergency, another emergency. And then it's just going to be like, you know, well, you need things every week. You need hygiene. Everybody needs hygiene. So once all that happens, you're going to get into this cycle. And if you try to break it or get out or that week, you can't do it. Then eventually they're just going to get really pissed off and they're going to yank that love away. And you're going to be like fiending for it. And you're going to be like, <gasps> and then you're going to get scared and you're going to keep on doing it. you're going to find a way to get that shit done now when it's time for the person for the girl to go home because that is a good pen pal sugar daddy because he you know he's a good one then that girl knows she has zero intention of talking to him ever again so she's going to sell him to sarah so say i'm the one going home so i will tell sarah hey sarah i will sell you bob for two hundred dollars so because I'm about to go home. Like $200 will get me through the next two weeks and that's it. I don't need a lot, right? Or whatever. Um, so I'll be like, hey, so what will happen is I will start talking. Usually it's not like two weeks for the record. It's usually like um, the girl that's going to go home is going to sell her sugar daddy about a month before she goes home. So because you need a little time for this to happen. So she will start saying, oh, hey, babe, Sarah, you know, Sarah did this for me. Oh, Sarah's such a good person. Oh, my gosh. Sarah doesn't have any family. I wish you could meet Sarah. You're just going to love her. When she gets out, you're going to meet her. You're going to love her. You're just going to start really putting Sarah in the game. And then what's going to happen is one day. Sarah is going to get your information because she's going to contact you so that when I get out, she can contact you and she can talk to me on the phone because you and I are going to be together out there. So one day, Sarah is going to call and say, hey, I just wanted to call and make sure that this is the number and say, hi, you know, Jen said you were so great and everything. I can't wait till you pick her up so that, you know, you guys can have a great life and get married and ride off into the sunset and just know that I'll be calling you to talk to her. And Bob's like, okay, cool, whatever, whatever. Well, I get out. I never talk to Bob again. I don't see Bob. I don't even tell him the right day I'm getting out so that he can't show up there. Now, what's going to happen is a couple days later, Sarah's going to call 
And she's going to be like, hey, Bob, you know, can I talk to Jen? And Bob's going to be like, Jen, you know, she goes, she, she bailed. I don't know what happened. I'm worried. I, she, she used me or I'm worried or whatever. And that's when Sarah's going to be like, and she's going to turn on me. And she's going to be like, I cannot believe that she did that. You're such a good guy. I can't believe it. And then eventually it's going to be, well, Jen only existed for us to find each other. Like she was the, the, the path for us to find each other because we're the true love. And now you just got sold and then you'll get sold to somebody else when Sarah goes home. <laughs> yes, got soul. In the words, uh, we started off this show with my man Chris Brown. He has a song, and it goes something like this: "These hoes ain't loyal." And we learn from the dudes, but also at the end oh, of the day, God, they learn karma is a karma is a b. Like, you, wait, you think they, they in prison? You think they worry about karma? Shit, that karma came around person, three or four times look, by now. I'm the type of person I'm going to think about. Okay, you know, if I do this, what's going to come back at me? Like, man, I don't do stuff to people like that. That's not nah, you know. Ooh. But it, it, quick, like you can't be playing around with people's emotions. Do you know people like really die of heart of heartbreak? Uh, I'm a prisoner. I don't, I don't care. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm a criminal. But I do wait, not wait, care. Wait, but. Quick says she's seen this on Love After Locker. One dude gave up 90 grand. And the other boy name was Dante. He was a black boy. i never forget. My sister loves this show. And it, it got me hooked on it. This one episode, Dante was this black boy. He was like a engineer or something. He, made, he had money. And it was this white girl that was in prison. And he was doing the absolute most. She, was, she had a whole nother dude and everything. He went up to the prison to get her. She wow. told him he was getting out. Dante was out there for 52 what? hours. Wow. <laughs> she had already left. <laughs> she oh, boy had already shame. picked up. I said, Dante is a damn fool. Yo, but it, I mean, this is the thing that kills me. I mean, I can't see it myself later because I have this, this anti-foolishness mechanism like at the end of the day what that ain't work like to, you can't play me like, that. like when you do can't you, play me at like what that. point does a person but see maybe they're dealing with older people because at what point do you not realize like okay you know what this is you can play dante and was and like you got sold dante was like 27 he wasn't old at all the girl wasn't old like These if you people are just if you watch love after lockup the majority of the people on this show are not it's one old here i think the one that gave up the 90k he was an older guy but the rest of these people, they 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 be young, thirties, twenties. Yeah, but look at it. If they're meeting these people on these apps, that's just showing how how I'm, I'm trying to think of the verbiage. I don't want to say the wrong thing. Corny. <laughs> that's what you was trying to say. Look, corny. Yeah, let's just say that because <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say something, but I gotta I gotta catch myself. I keep forgetting I'm on YouTube. We're on YouTube. <laughs> Shit, go ahead. Say I can edit it out. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you know what? That that's that's just not that's just not cool because if they're on these apps, that's just basically they putting themselves out there like that. Lonely, I don't know, lonely. But like quick say, what quick say? They're not old at I'm all. I'm telling you, they don't so be old. And just like, like, said, they're lonely so out here, low. man. There's no way in hell I I can just talk to somebody over and over again. And I can't get a chance to rub up on your booty. That ain't because my thing is, it's like, hey, what? So, what I'm just supposed right, to just text you to death? Buns. Yeah, you know what I mean. Listen, girl, when I like, I, I, I want to see some titty like, nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, I want to feel the forth, titty nipples. And then, and then you on the 15 minute phone call, and you constantly getting interrupted by the machine. Like, come on. This call is being recorded. <laughs> right. The federal <laughs> yeah. institution. So look, look, let's go to the comment. So we got uh we got one comment. One comment says <laughs> a, whole <new, laughs> a whole new level of sprinkle sprinkle. <laughs> yeah, Dante, Dante, you need to stop it. He he is out of pocket. I just looked up his uh, Instagram and his Instagram name is Dante underscore Love After Lockup. Damn, for oh, real. He wow. just he's still he's still looking for jail kid, girls. Like he out of control. <laughs> That, that he like that he like that 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 jail. Like coochie. I gotta under, I, I'm just trying to understand how vulnerable <laughs> can a person really be to do something like that. Well, you gotta think about it. Some people are like socially awkward, so yeah, they think that like to reach out to these people. You in prison, so it's like you can't play me. You on the inside. It's it's a, it's kind of like almost a guarantee. If you in prison, you a woman in prison, and Don say sends you something. What you gonna say? Ill f out of here. Girl, you in prison. All right, bye. It's, yeah. it's not like you could play me. So it's yeah. like it's like a win-win situation for people who have that social, you know, anxiety or a little socially awkward. Yeah, awkward. So wait, so so yeah, quick but says how 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 smart is it to just keep giving somebody your money though? That's just not listen. Right, listen, listen. Right. Let's say no, there's a lot of men that do that. 
Look, well, listen, when I was in my pimp days, I used to tell the girl, yo, go get some money from your man and give it to me. Wow. Damn. You know what I mean? That was my <laughs> shit. And she would come back with it? Hell yeah. <laughs> Look, like, because you know what I mean? She wanted, she wanted this mm. 30 seconds of fun. Oh, so wait damn. a minute, you was 30 seconds back then too? Damn. I ain't got time. <laughs> I, this is, I ain't got time, but this ain't going to be an all-nighter. He what? said, what? Yeah. this ain't Burger King. You this ain't Burger King, baby. <laughs> you can't have it the way you want it. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna you gonna get to your thirty pumps? <laughs> you know what I mean? And I get up with you later on. Pumps and above. Pumps and above. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to the next comment. So next comment says, "I have two kids with a woman like this." <laughs> Damn. Damn. See, <laughs> see, it's more than one Dante out there. <laughs> oh my God! Come on, bro. <laughs> Hey, we got we got Dante's all over the place oh over here. Oh my god. Wait, let me ask you. So when you was in prison, how many what? pen pals did you Oh damn. <laughs> okay, go ahead. When I, when, I, when I was in prison, what? How many pen pals did you have? Hey, none, because I wasn't there that long. But oh, no pen pals. Oh shit, okay. So you were in prison. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> Jesus, I was in there quicker than a snicker. <laughs> got a damn near, we, got a, we got a damn felon in the room. We didn't even know. <laughs> hey, this is for entertainment purposes only, guys. What's your real name again? <laughs> Honey Dip Tea. Hey, look. Hey. We can't Peanut, make sure you lock up all the motherfucking jewelry. <laughs> we can't look that up on the internet. Dip, What's your real name? Honey Dip T. That's it all you need to know. Okay. It may, yeah. <laughs> you know my real name? Oh, that is uh, 87354. <laughs> so, look. So, next comment. <laughs> next comment is, you're telling me these women work, these men from prison, and I can't even find someone to date out here. Listen, you better get on the prison website and get it, get it popping. <laughs> Now, listen, you better, you better say you had the county locker. Right? But see, you know what? It's the difference between just dating somebody or dating somebody that's actually worth it because it's like, okay, be worth it. Don't yeah. just be somebody that's just going to take up my time because I ain't got time for all that. Like, I, I'm not the type of person to waste my time. So, if you want to play games, just stay the hell away from me. They trying to find yeah. love in any way they, they, they can get it. They ain't trying to find old love. They Hold ain't on. love. Why are they you, can't are, find are, love? Are you talking about what? The women are trying to find love? They, they trying to find like a, uh, I thought they were trying to find like a quick hit. No, no. no these are people. Love. No, they not. Stop it, CJ. Hey, you know how many women date bums on the outside? So if you want to date a bum, that, that he outside. But that's not trying difference? to find love right there. What they doing? That's taking advantage of people. And no, I'm not saying the women. I'm just saying like the guy, the guys that are falling into the trap. They just trying to find love and just oh, doing okay, it in a okay, different way. Okay, Not the okay. women. Yeah, they scammers. We know them. They, they got yeah. a pocket, but it's just yeah. they trying to find it in their own way. I mean, can you imagine you coming up to the prison, you got your roses in, in one mm. hand, and you waiting for her to come out, find out that she... Gone. She got she got released like Long two months gone. ago. You know what I mean? Now I'm sitting in the in the in the little visiting room eating a cheeseburger out of a vending machine. <laughs> no. First of all, you won't even get to the visiting that far to the visiting room if the person's not even there as an inmate. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. This is this is out of pocket. Yeah, but I mean, either way, listen, they got played because they want to get played. Ain't no way because at some point, nah. some like come on now. Everybody has an intuition. I know we we talk every week about women's intuition. Men but they do choose, too. They choose. To Men do it. too. So at some point, there's some kind of red flag telling you, or something in your spirit telling you, like, look, something ain't right about this. Listen to it. Hey, love is either blind. way. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. You know what I mean? Yep. Are you a pen pal, or how are, or have you ever been a pen pal? Don't become a Dante. Yeah, you know I'm saying. Please. <laughs> hey, hey, don't be a Dante. <laughs> a Shante. Women, y'all, y'all Shantes. That's what y'all are. A Shante. Don't be a Shante or a Dante. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, well, see, the men prisons. It be men knocking off the uh, the female correction officers. Yes. I know. And they are. They, are, they be busted. I mean, some of the busted jokes. No kind. Oh, I was listening. God, yo, listen. If I've been down 14 years, <laughs> you don't care what I think. <laughs> I don't care. I don't <laughs> care. Listen, you got you don't have a Y chromosome, don't you? Okay. So then let's let's, let's make it. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, okay, we're gonna make it. Happen, I understand, yeah. fellas. <laughs> I understand. Look, Look, them, so, them chicks be they be they be in everybody's face. Hey, hey. That's, I, I, I ain't can't got trust nothing to do with me. Like, if I'm dealing with somebody that's locked up and you coming out, mm mm. No, I need you to take every test under the sun. Out. They won't let me out. I'm mm. locked out. Oh, 